All right, you sick bastards. It's it's time to do the last gift card giveaway. And you know why I'm salty right now? I'm smiling, but I'm salty. I am salty because I bought two Xbox gift cards and I bought a Steam card. You know what I mean? And it's like, majority of y'all were PlayStation. And also, sorry to the people when I made the announcement of doing the giveaway. That was like a week ago or so. Sorry to them because you were not able to put your comment in. But don't worry, I still put your names in the, the, the spin the wheel. So... Uh, if you commented recently or something like that, so, you know, don't too much worry about it. Don't worry. I still uh, got y'all backs. All right. Yeah, yeah. But it's time to watch spin the wheel for the last gift card that is PlayStation. And I had to buy one more. You want to know why I had to buy one more? Because majority of you fuckers are PlayStation. That pissed me off. I had to give away the Xbox and Steam card because it's like nobody in the comments was Xbox. So, with that being said, let's just go ahead and watch uh, Spin the Wheel, shall we? Y'all can go ahead and watch while I stare at y'all. And congratulations, B. Thornton won. You won a $25 Xbox gift card. If you are watching this, reach out to me. Um, you probably won't get it right away because I have somewhere to be later, so you know. Because uh, don't worry, it's still in my mail and whatnot. But at the same time, uh, you know, I probably won't respond by the time you hit me up on Discord. Remember, you have five hours to hit me up on Discord and this and any other. And you know, if you can't get within those five hours, uh, I'm gonna handpick somebody else to get the gift card. But uh, until then, just bear with me because you know, I'm gonna end up being busy today. So yeah, it's time to talk about Janessa. Is a P7 worth it? And should you, uh, not should you, but is Janessa a true skill gap of a character? Now, I want to hear y'all opinions. I want to hear what y'all think. Because Janessa is, Janessa, as I said before, you've seen my tier list video. Janessa just killed everybody. That's what basically happened. She, she showed any character with defense and offense what, like true skill gap is and it's, it's just sad to see because Janessa is not going to work for everybody that's the difference Janessa is not gonna you know make you better at the game you it, it, it's true skill gap and I think Leoy is one of those characters as well that somewhat you know show the capabilities of the skill gap because of the whole Jokic playstyle that majority of people were saying the trash, but some people, you know, didn't really care and still played him as like a typical big of some sort. You know, just don't expect to like really score because he's speed and stuff like that. Just expect to be a big. So with that being said, it's like should we expect Joy City? Hang on, let me continue to level up. Should we expect Joy City to continue on and just do straight p7 or are we going to get a mixture of things when it comes to characters getting their p6 and only the characters who, who been had their p, uh, p6 bound to get a p7 because it's kind of confusing on just by the p7 being unnecessary if that makes sense um which a lot of people are not liking the fact that you have to pay 60k a bead for her p7 um for her P7 uh, 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 what, what, what potential ability and uh, attributes and whatnot. And somebody, uh, I think somebody did the math. Somebody said like it's 1.8 mil in total uh, per 60K bead. And I'm like, holy shit. Uh, so when Jesse gets her P6, when, I mean not P6, when, when Jesse gets her P7, when Lou gets her P7, when Camilla gets her P7, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to touch that personally like you have to especially for somebody who's free to play you probably have to grind like you have to well you you've been had to grab i'm talking about like, you have to grind as if like you have to actually put in hours like you can't just be thinking like well, i'm gonna play like 10 11 12 matches a day that shit's not gonna work so i do find her p7 to be unnecessary and especially when too with like the asking price that's way below um way below the belt like you basically just hit everybody in the balls and then walked away that's what you've done joy city so um i don't know I, you know what i mean like uh, hopefully you guys save money in your account <laughs> hopefully you guys save money in your account and uh 
uh, don't do anything with your life. Let's, let's, let's put it like that. But I want to actually see what you guys think. And one more thing too, before I actually end the video, as you know, you see me uh, leveling up Janessa and all that stuff. It's hard to tell what Janessa's playstyle is. Defensively, you can tell, right? She's 2.0 a Jack. She make Jack look like dog water because the fact of the matter is you gave Jack, I mean, I'm not Jack, you gave Janessa similar skills as Jack. So with that being said, now there aren't really any Jack users to kind of like up, like oppose to Janessa in that matter, right? Like I, like, I wouldn't find it hard to believe if Jack users decide to go ahead and be point guard. Cause it's like, well shit, I could just do this. But the one thing I'm not liking about Janessa, and, and again, if you've seen my uh, tier list video, she has a weird play style when it comes to her having untamed dash. Because it's hard to, as I said before in the last video, it's hard to tell if you're getting Lou, I mean not Lou, it's hard to tell if you're getting Jack, it's hard to tell if you're getting Faye, it's hard to tell if you're getting Walker, on the scoring side, you know what I mean? But when it comes to like her slashing, when it comes to her dunking or just, you know, going in the paint, it's hard to tell if you're getting Lou or it's hard to tell if you're getting Sorrow. What I mean by Sorrow is it's kind of like using the untamed dash and then you're going for a dunk, you know what I mean? If you're either dunk at will or you're going for her reverse dunk. And what I mean by Lou is, you know, you're not really dribbling, you're like posting up and, you know, just moving your joystick back and forth and, and so, you know, you, you do dunk at will. Like, it's tough to say, like, what people are trying to go for, but it's not hard to tell that people are really hitting on, um, people are really hitting on, you know, what Janessa is, which is, you know, a defensive slasher, which is, you know, she has some shooting capabilities, but the jump shot is slow, of course. Um, Untamed Dash is obviously not something um, hard, hard to uh, get by. Because, again, you had characters like Faye, Jack, Walker, right? Like, there's no drive speed doesn't help with that. Like, there's no cars for it, obviously. So, at the end of the day, um, uh, you know, it's not hard to, like, go against Janessa when she's driving, like, in or out. Because, you know, collision or, you know, you could probably get her to lose the ball or collide it with her, steal the ball, whatever the case may be. But, the, but it's, it's just, like, I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> like I can't talk and I'm still somewhat sick, but I'm still going somewhere, but no, I'm still somewhat sick But at the end of it, um Yeah, Janessa is, 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 is looking confident, but you know, we'll see what happens after a month of, of uh, Janessa's release because then we'll kind of actually get to uh, Be shown like how people are working with her and all that stuff But I truly believe Janessa shows a skill gap and it also shows that you can't just be any character. This is exactly what I was saying plenty of times. Please sit down and actually think about who you want to be, what position you want to be, and how you feel that you know you can be effective. A lot of people can be Lou, but not everybody can be good with Lou. A lot of people can be Chloe, Ayla, Ox Queen, but not everybody can be good with Chloe, Ayla, Ox Queen. Like that's the that's the message that I feel like Janessa is showing because the fact that you drop her just like this and including P7 then yes it's going to be a true skill gap in the future but that's all i wanted to say uh let me know what you think i'll see you guys next year uh congratulations d thornton for winning 25 dollars. i hate you um be sure to subscribe and like the video because we are close to 400 okay we, we we're close bro we we are close like what do i have to tell y'all we are close the fact that i spent about 70 80 dollars well, no, not $70, $80. I'm tripping. In so fact, I spent like $90 to $100. Yes, you have to subscribe. There's, there's, there's no way around it, okay? There's none. None whatsoever. So, again, thanks for all uh, to who watches me and, you know, come for the leagues or who comes to uh, talk about the game itself or things to do so you can improve and all that. Uh, you know, there will be more. And I may do this again. May do the whole uh, giveaways again, depending on how everything looks. So, uh, yeah. I'm out.